Benjamin and his father climbed between the rocks. If they moved fast enough, they could probably see the fountain before darkness fell. Benjamin had brought sandwiches especially. They had no crusts. Benjamin's father insisted on that. They were meticulously crafted, packed away in neat boxes. For as many cycles as he could remember, Benjamin had made the climb with his father. Every time, the glow felt closer, more tangible. Benjamin hoped that one day, he'd be able to reach out and touch it. Benjamin ran. His father had sent word that it was ready, that it was actually done. There had been a few misfires. Benjamin had seen the rectangle who tested Mark 26. More of a trapezium now. jetpack was glorious. Benjamin's father motioned to the switches he'd made, told him to fly to them. Slowly though. Benjamin ignored him, of course, hitting the sequence as quickly as possible. He was dying to test this out properly, to fly to the fountain. Just a quick flight up to the fountain. Benjamin was sure his father wouldn't mind. The locked doors were uh, a precaution. The spike walls, a friendly reminder to be aware of his surroundings. That combination lock... <laughs> was done. The fountain had sounded like a great idea when she started. An adventure. And more importantly, it was an adventure she could have alone. been alone and 
they had seen her. Benjamin was getting good at this. They could fly. It was important to stay focused, though. He had a fountain to get to. Rectangle seemed remarkably unimpressed by Benjamin's jetpack. She didn't even ask about it. She just kept looking up and muttering about clouds. Initially slighted, Benjamin decided that this was a passing disinterest and she'd come round eventually. tried to talk the obnoxiously single-minded Square out of his plan. She should have left him, taken the next portal home and forgotten about that big splattering machine he kept motioning at heroically. They were halfway to the fountain. It occurred to Benjamin that his father would have become aware of his absence by now. Benjamin hoped that he'd be forgiven. You know, the folly of youth. Father had worked so hard on the jetpack. tried again. She told Benjamin about the blinding light of the fountain, of the clouds which had defended it. She begged him not to carry on. He laughed it off. He wasn't afraid of clouds, so however pixelated they were, he could fly above them or swoop to avoid them. Scared her. 